it is a huge college basketball card this Saturday, March the 9th, the final Saturday of the regular season. And I've isolated a point spread winner on ESPN National TV. I'm going to give that to you free in this video with analysis in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down your 2 o'clock Eastern Saturday afternoon national TV matchup on ESPN between Oklahoma and Texas. Unranked Oklahoma, unranked Texas. However, if you dig a little bit deeper in the additional votes in both the AP and coaches poll, you'll see both of these teams are pretty close to being ranked. But what's interesting is they don't both appear in each poll. In fact, Texas is currently around 30th in the additional votes in the AP poll. Oklahoma is getting nothing, whereas Oklahoma is getting additional votes. They're like number 29, I believe, in the coaches poll. And Texas is getting no additional votes. It's pretty crazy. Texas is actually 25th in the Ken Palm rankings, Oklahoma 37th. So Texas is the better team. And that's why, as of Friday night, they're about a five, five and a half point spread favorite in this game. Uh, but we have to keep an eye on the injury report. And there's a lot of uncertainty coming in this. DeSue, the leading scorer, Dylan DeSue for Texas Longhorns, might not play. He's listed as a game time decision. He struggled with a stomach virus before the game, and then he injured his left knee in the second half in their loss against Te uh, Baylor earlier this week. So it's been a tough week for DeSue. I expect him to try to go, but we don't know for sure, not how effective he'll be. But with him on the court, I think Texas is the play in this game for a couple reasons. First of all, last home game of the season, last game of the season, regular season that is, and coming off a loss at Baylor, this should be a very focused spot for the better team, the Texas Longhorns. Now, Baylor or Texas rather does not have the revenge motive. They actually won easily by 15 at Oklahoma back in January, a month and a half ago, January 23rd. And they overcame a one-point deficit, outscored Oklahoma by 16 points in the second half. And one of the big reasons is they were just lights out from the field, 44% from three-point range, 50% overall from the field, and Oklahoma struggled. They shot just 39% at home, only 21%, four for 19 from three-point range. So Texas was plus 12 points from three-point range, one by 15. So normally you don't want to see that much of a discrepancy, but I don't think it was a total fluke. I think the matchup favors Texas. And on the season, they're actually a better three-point shooting team. And Oklahoma has really struggled on the road. In fact, they shoot just 30% from beyond the arc away from home this season. So I do not look for them to light it up once again on the road, especially when they weren't able to do so at home. Other thing I'll point out about Oklahoma is that they've had some good showings recently. But when you dig deeper into their schedule and their results, you'll see it's been a little bit phony. Um, they had the win against Cincinnati on um, the other night. We actually used them as a point spread winner against Houston at home uh, last week on last Saturday. They won the game, lost by only two straight up as a six-point dog. But overall, they have not stepped up well against good teams. In fact, as an underdog, uh, the last five times they've been an underdog. Actually, if you count Pickham, uh, they were a Pickham at UCF. So the last six times, or we'll say, yeah, the last six times they've been Pickham or a dog, uh, they're just one in five straight up in those games. And this is a pretty short spread on the road. So I do think it's a tough step up in class for Oklahoma. They just won their final home game of the season easily against Cincinnati earlier this week on Tuesday. This could be a little bit of a flat spot. And Texas, if the Sioux goes, keeping on the injury report is the play, in my opinion, minus a five to five and a half. That goes at two o'clock Eastern Saturday afternoon on ESPN National TV. Now I've got some strong best bets for my personal clients. It's a huge Saturday. I love the card here on March 9th. If you want to get my official best bets, go to my page right now, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Single games are 25 or you can get every best bet, a multi-pack for just 29 That's right. For just $4 more, you get every best bet this Saturday in basketball. And you should pay attention. Nobody has won more units in the history of Wager Talk on college and pro basketball sides combined than I have. Up over 180 units over the last three years since I joined the site. And I've got a strong and deep card this Saturday in college hoops. Also, don't forget daily free plays. I post a free play each and every day, so check that out as well. And while you're there, I highly recommend a direct subscription. Play consistently, learn and earn and win consistently each and every day, and never miss a play with the direct all sports, all access package. And this weekend only, you get an instant 25% discount on any all sports, all access subscription with promo code SM25. That's SM25, instant discount on any all access package when you use promo code SM25. No matter which option you choose, the one-day multi-pack or the direct subscription with the promo discount, don't miss out on a super strong Saturday in college basketball ready right now along with a bonus free play. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on Twitter and X as well, at Steve Merrill. Two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on Twitter and X. 
Also post free plays throughout the week on Instagram. Follow me on IG and comment below here on YouTube. I read all the comments. I reply back. What are your thoughts on this Texas-Oklahoma game? And more importantly, what other college best bets do you have today on Saturday? Throw in some of those mid-major conference tournaments that are going on. I love the mid-major action. Throw that in here. And don't forget my college basketball top 25 video is up here on Wager Talk TV as well as I highlight four big games for this Saturday. Deep dive, free plays for you in that video as well. So hit subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss my top 25 video, any of these free play videos when they pop up each day of the week. And also my NCAA tournament fade the public edition, which will be ready in a couple weeks. So subscribe, hit the bell for instant alerts. Thumbs up, like if you're loving this free content. And be sure to stay tuned right here to Wager Talk TV for more great college and pro basketball previews coming up next.